What's up guys? I'm Nick and this is Build Dead Build. And everything floats down here. <laughs> All right, guys, in this episode, we are going to be lasering. And we're going to be lasering these tiles using a technique known as the Nicky Norton white tile method. Now, the beauty of this method, can you see that? It's a little shiny. Uh, is that once you do this method, it makes the tile indelible, which means that you can't scrape it off. No scrapies. So this is a little different than if you see me do the colored tiles in the past. That still has paint on it. When you're done with this, no paint. Well, I guess the paint has been permanently etched on or something or another. I don't understand the science. I'm not a science guy. The guy with the laser. Okay, it kind of makes me sound like a science guy. Anyway, let's get to work. All right, before we get to lasering, we've got to prep our tile. So the first thing we want to do is clean our tiles. And to do that, I'm going to use a little acetone. What I like to do is just dump a little out on the tile and then take my kid's shirt that they outgrew and just go over it. Basically, we're just getting all the all the waxy funk off the top. So we'll have a better surface for the spray paint to adhere to. Okay, so definitely play around with your spray paints when you're doing this technique. It's like some people get uh, better results with different paints. Some people seem to get better results with with matte versus gloss and things like that. And the big colors I see a lot is smoky beige, satin smoky beige by, by Rust-Oleum. However, uh, when I went to the store to get some, they were out, go figure. So what I am trying today is called heirloom white. So it's just a little off white, kind of like the smoky beige, and we're gonna see what kind of result we get with this. Settings on your laser are very important for this technique, but what also is important is how you lay down your paint. You don't wanna lay down too much paint, you don't wanna lay down not enough paint, and you need to make sure that you consistently put down the same amount of paint if you want to have consistent results. I just wanna make sure you get your can nice and shook up, and then you wanna start over off tile, and you're just gonna pass over everything. All right, and then we're just gonna go the other way. Now we're gonna to wanna to let those sit for about 24 hours to make sure that that paint is nice and dry. Tomorrow. All right guys, I'm down here, the laser is running. What I'm doing is called the, the Nicky Norton white tile test. Here is a sample that I ran on the Sculpt Fun. It looks like this. And I'll link to this file below. If you're using Lightburn, you can just import it and run your own. But that's basically what's going on right now. I don't know how well you can see that file on the computer, but this is what it looks like. I haven't taken acetone to this yet, but this is what it looks like when it comes fresh out of the laser. Okay, so now that both of those tiles have come out of the lasers, I've got them sitting right here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna hit them with a little acetone and take the rest of the paint off. And let it sit there for just a second. And then we're just gonna come in with the rag and we're gonna take it off. And this is where you get your actual results because I think this is the one we're gonna we're gonna use. So we want the the blackest black we can get at the lowest power. So I'm over here in like the 50, maybe 50 or maybe 60 percent range. Actually, you know, Actually, let's look at 1,570%. All right, guys, next we're gonna prep our tile. Now you can do this in Photoshop, but that's a pay to option, and you can do it in GIMP. Now GIMP is free, but the, uh, the plugin that does this is like $45 or something like that, or at least that's what I've found. Or you can go to Imager, which is what we're gonna do. So basically, it's, uh, here's the web address, it's imag-r.com. You come in here to upload, hit your little upload button. We're gonna go to a picture that I've already picked out of Pennywise. And then I've got this little black bar on the side, so I wanna crop that out. So we're gonna come in here to crop, if I can get it. There we go. 
And we're just gonna move this in a little bit, move that back over. All right, and crop. Okay, next we're gonna resize. I always want this to be, on these tiles, I want it to be 385. I don't know why that didn't, didn't change. 385, 85. Oh, because it's not exactly square. Okay, I messed it up a little bit. We'll be all right. Actually, I want the, there. <laughs> okay. All right, and next you come in and we're gonna go to material. And we're gonna go to diode laser. This is a Norton white tile, so we do that. And it's not gonna do a whole lot to it because the Norton white tile, if you if you look at it, it's it, it, it kind of sorted our blacks a little bit for us, but um, it's not really extreme. If you're doing Norton white tiles painted black, it actually inverts the image. And then we're gonna go to download. We're gonna download it as a PNG. I can't see my PNGs. I'm gonna drag it off screen over here and then I am going to, uh, I'm gonna port it over to the computer downstairs and I will see you there, kids. Okay, so I'm downstairs and I'm gonna pull this Pennywise PNG into Lightburn. Okay, now that I've got, let's bring this in a little bit and up a little bit. Now that I have Pennywise imported in there, I'm gonna take the laser and I'm going to put it right on the edge here. So I have a good idea where I want to be. I'm gonna grab a tile. I'll slide this in here. And before we do anything, I'm gonna come over here in Lightburn and I'm gonna to go to this tab. And I'm gonna fire. All right, so I can see it on my board now and I'm gonna center that, or not center it, I'm gonna bring it all the way over the edge of the tile. And then a little tip in light burn, if you hold the shift key and hit frame, it'll run the laser with it firing. And all I'm looking is to see if that laser fires off the edge at all. I'll do it one more time. And it doesn't look like it is. Okay, so then we wanna come in just to our settings. And we'd said, Fifteen hundred. As was it eighty percent or was it seventy percent? What was that time? Fifteen hundred. Let's go eighty. Okay, and then we just send it, and there she go. So check that out. It looks pretty, pretty creepy already, doesn't it? Okay, so now we just need to take the rest of the paint off and make it indelible. Is that what it is? Indelible? It's the same thing, just a little, little acetone. Let it sit for a second. Find a clean spot on my rag here. I'm just gonna take that off. Okay, still got a little paint on there. What do you think? That looks pretty good, doesn't it? Before we get to the results, I just wanna say thank you to all of you for sticking around till the end of the video. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. And an extra special thanks goes out to all my patron members. Without you guys, I wouldn't be able to make these videos and get the cool toys that I do. And the highest of fives goes to my top tier patrons or my Boilermaker patrons. Steven Mann, Eric Weiss, Chuck Faulkner, Derek Coates, Puffy Muffins, Zach Z, Jim Carter, and Andy the Viking. All right, let's check it out. 
Okay, so you may have noticed that this was darker before I took the paint off. I know some people do leave the paint on and just put a clear coat on top of it, but it doesn't give it that scratch proofedness, which is what we want, right? We wanna be able to do this and not take any of the paint off. So you do lose a little bit of darkness on that. And sometimes you can play with your settings and get it a little darker, but check that bad boy out. <laughs> I also did a Chucky. You may have seen in the beginning of the video. So that one needs to be a little darker, but look at that detail. It's crazy. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you want me to laser next. Until next time, thanks for playing. And now I gotta get to work. It's Friday, maybe I'm done. Where's the acetone? As to acetone. <clears throat> Ass to acetone. Name that movie. I'm about to have first world problems. Couldn't find the remote to my air conditioner. Shorty. Okay, cool. Mic works. <laughs>